So uh, Ross uh, Hayes is a NASA guy. He's a balloon guy. Uh, he's on the hotline with us. He sent us a, an email from. Or are you now? Are you in Antarctica? Or you were in Antarctica li- listening to us? Uh, uh, I was in Antarctica. I was. A, I just have returned a couple weeks ago from the Arctic, though, the other side of the world. Oh, okay, okay. So, how are you? We, li- we go both extremes. <laughs> That's pretty wild. That's pretty great. Real quick, how how are you listening to us? Well, when we're in Antarctica, you know, there's no radios or yeah. iPhones or anything, but they have closed circuit TV from the American Forces Network. Uh, and on the closed circuit TV, on the information pages they have showing on the screens and the dormitories we stay in and stuff, and they have your show come on in the background of <laughs> the radio Oh, well, that's awesome. Wow. So you're yeah. there in Antarctica, and it's kind of the way you're connected to the mainland and the rest of the world is through your radio playing through the TV. Yes, sir. Wow, wow. And so what are you doing there? Well, we go down and launch scientific balloons that are the size of football stadiums, and they go to the edge of space. The balloons are as a big as a stadium, stadium, not a field, a stadium? Yes, they're 40 million cubic feet, and when they're inflating, they stand 900 feet tall. What? How? And we send them into space to do what now? We send them to the edge of space. Okay. Uh, you know, so they, so they don't have to go out in and they don't have to re-enter. And the majority of the science we send up there, they're doing astrophysics, looking out into space. They, they want to know how the origins of our universe, yeah. what the black holes are, things of that nature. Plus, we do had one that we just launched from the Arctic that's looking at the sun. Wow. And then you guys come back and listen to a show called Big D and Bubba. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, uh, you're like, well, we're back down to reality. It's, it's, uh, it's balanced. Well, well, it keeps me going well. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is amazing. Like, I would love to go to Antarctica. I really would. But the sad thing is, is I'm allergic to cold. Not even joking about that. Uh, yeah. Cold urticaria. Uh, so I, I can't do it. But how cold is it like when you're there? I mean, you're there during the summer months, correct? Correct. Yes, we go in the summer months where there's 24 hours of daylight when we're there. And that's another reason we launched there, because the solar panels on, that we put up on the science payloads, they get unlimited energy resources. But the temperatures range from about minus 20 to as high. It'll warm up to maybe 40, 42 degrees every now and then. Okay, oh, in, nice. the sum, in the summer months for you guys in Antarctica is winter for us and vice versa, correct? Correct, yes. Because, you know, right now the U.S. Olympic team goes down to New Zealand because it's the wintertime down there and practices in their mountains, snow skiing, in July every year. Uh, Real quick, uh, aliens, how many have you seen, and are they under the ice? Don't lie. Is it the grays or the lizard ones? Uh, I think it's the greenies from what I've heard. I haven't personally seen them. I've heard stories, though. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what about that pyramid under uh, the ice? Right. Is that uh, is that a thing? Ross, honestly, we're not even joking. Just, uh, <laughs> just that's a, we're, we're not joking. It's not a yeah yeah. Go ahead. No. Well, I, I've heard stories. Oh. But that's one thing. They just set us out there in the field camp and they put us on the ice shelf. So we hear from those other science groups that go out and in in the field doing their research. And can you control the world's weather from Antarctica? It's kind of hard to do because you're in the bottom of the spin cycle down there. Maybe you can slow things down a little bit, prolong the seasons. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Ross, I... Very right. fascinating this talking is... with you because <laughs> yes, yes. you're obviously the smartest person we've talked to today. <laughs> yes, and thank you for your work. Well, well, it's so nice to hear you guys, and thank you all for being on the air. Uh, well, thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Uh, there you go. There's Ross Hayes. NASA. Antarctica wow. Ross. That is your new name. Antarctica Ross. That's it. Well, I'm on the Ross. Uh, I stay on the Ross ice shelf down there, too. I don't see. Look at that. I'm not. That's some... Ross on the Ross. Okay. Thank Ross you. Ross on the go. Ross rocks. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. Yeah. Bye, man. Thank okay. You. See you. Bye. Bye. Well, because over the years, uh, teenage kids have told you to like and subscribe, we don't have to say that anymore. You know what to do.